Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Let's read the question together. The question asks us to find the last non-zero digits in thirty factorial. Okay, so the last non-zero digit. So thirty factorial, of course, it ends with a string of zeros. What is the last one that's not zero? Okay. So yeah, they give the example. For example, five factorial is one hundred and twenty, right? So the last non-zero digit is the two here. Yeah. So how to solve this kind of number theory question? So I want to do prime factorization of 30 factorial. So the prime factorization of 30 factorial, I just need to divide by all the primes that are below 30, that are below 30, right? Because obviously 30 factorial is not divisible by 31 example. Okay. So you just need to make sure to divide all those prime that is smaller than 30. So yeah. The largest prime that is still smaller than 30 is 29, right? So all the primes all the way until 29. If I focus on 2, okay? How many 2 does 30 factorial? How many factors of 2 does 30 factorial have? So it's just the floor of 30 divided by 2, okay? But notice. Not all multiples of 2 has only one factor 2. Something like 2 square. 2 square, it, multiples of 4 would count it twice, right? Because multiples of 4 is 4 is 2 square. So I still need to find the multiples of 4. Yeah. Take the flow of that and the integer part of that. Then the same logic. 30 divided by every power Every multiple of 8 should be counted 3, right? Because 8 has 3 times of factor of 2, right? 2, 2, 2, multiply together as 8. And this should be power 3, not 8, okay? Plus 30 divided by 2 to the power 4. And 2 to the power 5 is already more than 30, so oh, do not count, okay? This, you know, floor of this is 15. This is 7. You can check on your own, okay? Add all together, this you will get 26. Okay, so this is basically 30. What I'm trying to say, 30 factorial, you would have 2 to the power 26 as a factor. Okay, not 27, but 26, the largest one. Okay, so next is you can imagine is 3. All right, do the same thing. Okay, floor of 3, 3 square. 30 divided by 3 cubed and that's all right because 3 to the power 4 is already more than 30 this you can check you will get 14 the next prime is 5 right 5 square 5 cubed is already more okay? so it's 7 7 the next prime after 5 is 7 7 square is already 49 so do not do not interested in that okay after this is 11 let me write in front just to save space okay. it's also 2 right notice that the next prime is 13 it's also 2 17 onwards it's all 1 already right next prime after 17 is 19 after that is 23 right after that is 29 all of this are one okay so that means 30 factorial just need to rewrite you how many factors of 2 does it have 26 correct 3 how many does it have 14 5 is to the power 7 and then 7 is to the power 4 11 to the power 2 13 to the power 2 17 is 1, 19 is also 1, 23 also power 1, and 29 also power 1. Okay, so why I do prime factorization? I need to know, okay, this is the power of 2, this is the power of 5. Okay? So that means 
the minimum power of 26 and 7 is a 7, right? So that means that the refactorial has 7 consecutive zeros at the end. So if I divide that by 10 to the power of 7, that means this is an integer that the last digit is not 0. Okay? So divided by 7 to this power now minus 7 is 19. Of course, it won't affect the 3. 5 to power 7 is gone now, right? So 7, 4, 11, 2, 13, 2, 19 to power 1, 23 to power 1, 29 power 1. Okay. So of course, the last digit of this one is already the answer, right? So how to find the last digit of this? You want to find the last digit, so basically you do modulo 10, okay? Modulo 10. Okay, so here, 2 to the power of 19, right? Power of 2 is 2, 4, 8, 6, and then repeat, correct? So it's a cycle of 4. 19 divided by 4, remainder is 3. So the last digit of 2 to the power of 19 will be the same as 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. So this is 8. And this is congruent, okay? 3, the power, the last digit of power of 3 is 3, 9, 7, 1. And then to repeat, power is 14. 14 divided by 4, remainder is 2. So it would have the same remainder as 3 squared. So that is a 9. Okay? So do the same thing here. 7 to the power of See, 7, 9, 3, 1, and then repeat, right? So, well, 7 to power 1 is basically it's already this one, right? Then the rest, 1, correct? This is 9, this is 7, 9, 3, 9. You multiply all of these together, notice that we only, we are only interested in the last digit. Multiply all of these together, you notice you will get 8. Okay, so that means that the hence the last non-zero digit is a eight. So the answer is eight. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.